Hello everyone, it's Cube Master Lewis, and today I'm going to be showing you how to fix this error in Visual Studio 2019. So this error right here will result in about 409 or 408, somewhere around there, that many errors. And uh, if you look at the warnings, uh, let's see if I can show it up here. Oh, it doesn't show right here. But sometimes it'll say it's because you have an STK error. So basically, um, there are a couple ways that you can fix this, depending on how the error was caused. But most of the ways will start by right-clicking um, over here, either over here in the Solutions Explorer, or up here um, in the Project, and then Project Properties right here in this panel. They both go to the same menu, which is right here. And then um, you can go to Windows SDK version right here, and then you'll change this to whatever SDK version you've downloaded and the newest version. Um, right now, I haven't actually gotten the most recent update, and that's why I have all of these errors. So in my case, I'm going to not do this because this is not how my error was caused. But if you have just recently installed your newest SDK version for um, C++, then you will change this right here. So just in case you haven't installed the most recent SDK for C++, you will go into the Tools menu up here, and then you'll click Get Tools and Features. And then you will press Allow for Visual Studio Installer right here. And then I haven't updated um, my most recent SDK or Visual Studio 2019 in general. So that's why it has this right here. And then if you haven't updated it, you can just press Update. But if you have the most up-to-date version, then it will um, come up with an array of different packages you can install. And then you'll just update um, either net C++ or whatever type of C++ you have and then that should get everything fixed and then um, what that will also do is it will give you a number if you're on Windows 10 it'll be 10.0 something 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 and then you'll copy that number and then go back to the properties panel for the project so the general project properties and then you will put that number that starts with 10 into the Windows ST SDK version right here and um, that should be it for this uh, error. If you have any other questions, just put them in the comments. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Later, Cubers.